Hey, welcome back. Good morning. Welcome back to Bahasa Little Project. So in this lesson, we will be learning how to use kan in Bahasa Indonesia. I think you have heard this word, this particle a lot in Bahasa Indonesia, right? Blah 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 kan, blah 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 kan, blah 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 kan. So yeah, um, let's talk about it. Okay, so kan is a particle that that is used in Bahasa Indonesia to do two things in English. Number one. To do tag question in English, tag question is like isn't it, don't you, aren't they, something like that, right? So all those tag question in English is replaced by can. Like for example here, he is coming, isn't he? So if you want to make tag question in English, like isn't he, aren't you, aren't they, everything is repl replaced by can. So very simple. This is good news for you. Okay. So that's that's it really, okay? Very very simple. If you want to again make tag question in Bahasa Indonesia, you just need the word kan. So let me tell you a little bit about this word. So kan here is the shortened uh, or the short version of the word bukan. So if I'm using the complete uh, 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 version of the word, it it should be bukan. Dia datang bukan. But because I mean, bukan may be just too long, <laughs> right? We just uh, make it shorter by uh, removing the part bu. So maybe you already know that bukan means no. So essentially you are saying he is coming, no? That's what's, uh, what's you are, uh, what's, what you are saying here, literally. Okay? He is coming, no? Okay? So bukan means no. But again, because bukan is a little bit, maybe kind of too long, for a tag question, so that's why we just delete the bu, and therefore voila, we have kan. Dia datang kan? Dia datang kan? Okay, dia datang kan? He's coming, isn't he? Okay, so that's again the first use or the first usage of kan to replace a tag question in uh, in in English. Of course, this is to indicating certainty, right? The use of kan. He's coming, isn't he? Dia datang, kan? Okay, now let's talk about something else. So, another usage of kan is to replace right in, in English. So, you know this, right? You did that, right? You will come with me, right? So, again, if you want to say right in that context to add emphasis, you can just use kan also. Alright? So, yeah. That's it. That's the two most important usage of kan, which is the short version of bukan, as we discussed just now. Okay? So, kamu tahu ini kan? You know this, right? And this is just another example to give you further understanding of what we have discussed. They will come one day. So, again, this is tag question. And if we want to create tag question in Bahasa Indonesia, you know what to do. We need to use can exactly so mereka akan datang kan they will come one day of course this is used to express expectation uh, and uh, another one here he is this is my book right again here we use can to replace right here to confirm information ini adalah buku saya kan this is my book right this is my pen right this is my money right <laughs> This is my wife, right? Well, I mean, if you forget your wife, that's a problem. <laughs> but okay, uh, I think you get the idea. Very simple. There are only two usage of can. Number one is to replace or to to create tag question, and also to replace to replace right in this context in uh, English. And the last one is to seek information. Kamu sudah makan kan? You have eaten, haven't you? But again, this is just simply a tag question, right? In English. Kamu sudah makan kan? You have eaten, haven't you? Okay, so that's it. Very simple. Uh, it makes our life much easier by speaking Bahasa Indonesia. Okay, because um, in English, it is way more complicated to create a tag question. But in Bahasa Indonesia, it is very easy. You just need the word can. So yeah, I hope this is useful for you. If you want to learn more step by step Bahasa Indonesia complete Bahasa course, 
you can check out our level one for free available on YouTube. And if you decide to learn more, you can email me to get level two until ten. Okay, so yeah, good job. Terima kasih. Sampai jumpa.